Hi friends, uh, this is one of my video uh, regarding EFI training. Uh, today we will be discussing about blower controls. In blower controls, uh, you know, a blower is one of the fan which is located inside a vehicle or in a car uh, which is circulating air inside the passenger and driver cabinet uh, or in the whole car it is circulating the air. So this blower is a sort of DC motor which is run by 12 volt uh, vehicle system or whatever the vehicle system is means 24 volts or 12 volts the vehicle uh, this system is run so here you can see the component index is blower motor blower resistor dash fuse box fuse relay box heater AC relay these all components will come in our discussion while we will discuss its schematic diagram so here is the electrical circuit diagram going towards this uh, electrical circuit diagram first you have to like this video subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications for each upload so here this circuit schematic is starting from here hot and on this hot and on this power is applied from the key or from the relay keyed power is applied uh, to this fuse this is a backup turn light 15 ampere fuse which is in located in the dash fuse box which is inside the vehicle there is a fuse box and this fuse is located there and from here you can see this power is coming to this splice and from here this power is going to some other area and also then again one splice is coming and from here also this power is going to cruise control automatic transmission controls backup lights AT shift indicator so all these circuits are powered by this uh, splice and then we are not discussing all these because later we will we will discuss in some other video I will discuss this system so this system will come and this this will come in the in the discussion so here this power is applied to the relay coil one uh, terminal which is number two terminal this is the relay for the heater AC relay heater AC relay is designated as this relay so here this power is applied to one side of the coil and the other side of the coil is connected to the ground as you can see this is our system ground so this coil side side is connected to the ground while well, this relay is switched on this is the control side and now we are discussing on the power side so what is going on the power side is you can see hot all the times so this is unkeyed power our unswitched power is applied over here to this main fuse which is 100 ampere this is a fusing link because uh, more current is involved so that's why this power is coming from the battery direct and through this fusing links big fusing links 100 ampere this power is going to in three uh, different circuits as you can see here is a splice and the circuit power is going to some other circuit and from here also there is a junction connector from here this circuit this power is going to another circuit and here we are concerned with this one so this power is coming to the fifth point of the relay which is the common point and here this relay normally the if power is not applied so this string over here on the normally open contact and while power is applied to this relay so it is going to this side and the power is connected to this terminal so from here this number one this power is applied by this blower fuse 20 ampere and another thing which is going from here this power is going distributed to another fuse which is AC 10 ampere fuse AC compressor controls so while we will discuss about the AC compressor because this blower control is also dealing with the AC air conditioner so air conditioner and heater both I mean to say they are concerned with the blower so that's why this AC is also coming in the way so this power is going to the AC but we are not discussing at the moment the air conditioner so later well, we will we'll discuss the air conditioner also this thing will come in the way so here this 20 ampere blower fuse it is supplied by this, by this power and this power is given to the blower motor one side here two terminals are for the blower motor so one terminal is connected to this fuse and this power is coming to that terminal and then later the ground side of the motor it is controlled with this switch as you can see heater AC control panel and also uh, this blower resistor so this blower resistor you can see three resistances are there which are connected in series mm, so how they are you know there is another thermofuse inside and this thermofuse is connected over here and here are 
four terminals you can see so four ter four terminals are connected to this switch and we can achieve by these four resistances we can achieve different speeds the four different speeds for our blower so how this is you can see this number fourth terminal this is directly connected to uh, this blower motor i mean to say there is no resistance coming in the way so this is the highest speed for this blower motor and then later this uh, this is number fifth you can see and number fourth position so number three you can see number three is connected through this resistance so one resistance is coming in the way while we are selecting on number three this is a selector switch which can you can move while you are moving the blower control so you are actually selecting these termin these contacts on the selector switch so here on the three one resistance is coming in the way so you get a little slower speed and then on the two more little uh, less speed you can get and then on the one this is the lowest speed for this one because all three resistances are coming in the way if you are putting the switch on number one and if you are putting on off so this is not connected this terminal is not connected to nothing so it means that the ground is not provided to this blower motor and the blower motor will stop ultimately it will be stopped and then later this uh, wiper control for this switch is connected to ground as you can see so here is another thing which is the dash and console lights this power is applied from the you know uh, from the dashboard lights or from parking and from headlights this power is coming this power and this ground is provided so while you are going in the um, in night you are driving in night so that time uh, while you are uh, switching on your parking lights or your uh, whatever headlights so this power will be applied over here positive and negative and these lights will glow and the whole cluster will glow i mean to say the whole air conditioner control will glow and it will show you the position of your switch and also uh, the writing which is done so this is for the illumination uh, so this was the control friends i'm hoping that you people learned from uh, these diagrams and whatever i'm explaining uh, so later later what i will show you another sheet as you can see uh, this sheet is showing the components location all the component location they have given for this particular car or for this particular vehicle you can see all the ground points and the supply points and whatever the connectors are involved and components are involved they have given everything and also photos are there but i'm not going to show you those photos because for a person who is working minimum he or she must know where are the locations and where are the whatever the photos and how they are uh, so i'm not going to show you those over here and here is a little circuit operation the circuit operation already i explained in this circuit uh, which is more than enough explanation i provided but this one also little explanation the people who want to study they can so this was and uh, later what i will show you in the next video in some next video i will show you the brake warning system and also i will show you the air conditioner for this vehicle the air conditioner diagram is a little bit complex and complicated that will be coming later so this brake warning light will come next hopefully and you people must stay with my videos you must watch them uh, stay tuned and like this video and subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications for each upload thanks for watching